he has been voting on Next Play even since yesterday, and he sees something, a potential for this team. Now, as we go in with our uh, predictions, watch out for the smart power prediction. At some point in the game, a poll will show up, and you only have until the timer runs out. So to comment down your prediction, use the hashtag power of smart. One lucky person who guesses it correctly will win a redeemable in-game code. Remember, keep an eye on the poll, folks. All right, something about this Rafaela going into the diggy on a roam per roll uh, showdown makes me feel a little better. Like the holy healing partially fixes the whole walk in an auto alarm bomb situation. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you get a little bit more space to walk away from that. And theoretically, I was thinking, like, wow, this that's going to be good for Ding. <laughs> Ding will be happy. One holy healing while he's just dashing around and with just keeps going. He just keeps going. Like, it, it feels good. And it's also. Like control abilities uh, being dished out, the slows that can help Rock a little bit more for the R lot. Um, in, in, instead of drafting that overall looks good one to five together, next play Evos with their last two picks drafted something that okay, you have three together that look good, but then if you separate a few heroes uh, around, they can have their own standalone thing um, that's separate from the team from the team idea going into this game. So a little bit more room for diversity actually and surprise plays for next play. Yeah, we just seen how Boyd they are rotating uh, really quick up against uh, the camp of Black so now so we see how they wanted to go faster. With the high and dry, you would want to have the advantage of out of position players in Blacklist. You mean Master Assassin? Yeah. Master Assassin now. Sweet. So, so now we might see how he might blend with this. Now it's all about how Black International will react and core them into some point that they have no chance to even hold for boy at DR. Yeah, and you're seeing here, well, we did mention there'll be a lot of pressure onto Edward to zone out for Blacklist as Oh My Venus is rocking the oh. thing, and that's what they did exactly. Good rotation there by Wise and Edward just oh. to show up, delay a Boyd a little bit. Boyd has time to show up here, potentially steal this away. Can he fly close enough? Really? Oh! Big team fight breaks out, you eh? Palms of Elder Strike opening up the first blood for Ding. There was quite a fumble prior to this engagement. Boyet used the retribution, trying to steal a small cap, and it led to all of that for Blacklist. Oh, a bit of a, a way of the wa they wanted to do an approach, but look at this. Rushko uses the flicker, gets out of that three-man sandwich that Blacklist was presenting. And here's one weakness maybe that Next Levos uh, has, given how they're early on in the draft, right? Going for already guerrilla tactics. Yeah. When Blacklist decides to Ube on you, it's so difficult. Yeah, and right now it's like half a play to Ube. It's not the full Ube just yet. That's right. It's just Edward Wise and Oh My Venus pressuring the jungle of Boyet, and it's working out really well right now for Blacklist and uh, up against his Fanny. And you don't want to experience this as a team having a Fanny on your side because it delays the power spike of that uh, key hero for the early to mid game. And also, has a delay on how to have a problem because inside of next play Evos, they have they don't have someone to have or to be the front line here for a for a good setup for counter plays, right? So they might actually be on the, on the rope like, hey, who was going to be the first one to be a sacrifice for this early on? Because we're we're seeing a slight delay on how NXP wants this game to be on their end. At best, it's Ding, right? When you're looking at the lineup, at best, it's Ding. But that aside, they are a very alpha strike lineup. They have to get the initiative. They have to get one kill quick, and then they can snowball into the engagement. They can't. You know, just play footsies, and then Blacklist is gonna catch you off guard. That's what's been happening for the past what four minutes. Yeah, and Goyong just wanted to get a little bit more vision in the mid lane. He's actually eating up a lot of alarm bombs from the diggy of Oh My Venus right now. So let's see, maybe in the mid. Oh, four man rotation. Oh, first time on Boyet, no one home. And yeah, we talked about how the holy healing might help, but now it's acting more as a what safety net here, not exactly an initiation tool. Yeah, imagine you have impure rage right now for Oh My Venus. It just purely pokes to hurt you once you go in. Look at that. Oh, Yue has the final slash. Turtle here at a quarter of its health. Wise looking at it. Check out Ding. Finds an angle. Clean take for Blacklist. And that's a clean take because again of just the early game decisions of Blacklist around that first turtle to delay Boyet. And next one, Evas cannot find an opening right now to get a bit of a control here in the mid. Al needs to run away. He's uh, safe there. So I set on next uh, for next play. He was actually in the bottom lane now. It's already a lane switch. I wonder if they can make something out of this. That is a dude that they're up against. Very tanky. 
Okay, we have the piercing power now since they have the Alpha Strike advantage for next beams. Let's see how this is because at most of the time, we've seen the boy at the are mostly on the passive side on how to be aggressive of being a fanny. Yeah, it's, it's, this is one pitfall that a fanny has when you don't find the angles. Threatens a kill on Yue, but there wasn't much follow-up. Uh, I think Boyet has a different pacing or a different tempo in his head compared to everyone else. And that's opening up the map for Blacklist. A quick turret take up top for Owl. Hoot, hoot, he's making money. It worked. That switch, uh, that switch around the timings of the dropping of the energy shields uh, worked well for Blacklist. And now we're going to start seeing Ube. That's the main signal here for Blacklist. Uh, condition to do that. Uh, mid lane tower is about to fall. Once that falls, this opens up the map even more and an even bigger opportunity to roam as four as five. And uh, considering that they're up against a fanny that struggled, a farsa that's catching up. Yeah, this is, gonna, this is bad oh. already for next play Evos. Oh no. But he even got a gap away there from Boyet. Oh, oh another strike Boyet. from Goyong. And Wise does not steal it away. So a little bit of a requiem for next play Evos. This is the problem that we were talking on how Blacklist could possibly rotate faster than NXPE. With the Fanny pressing on their end, this suppresses the chance like, what's the high end drawing now if everybody rotates in three? So this is the catch, like who will be the catch though for Blacklist if you want to have a proper way of getting progress heading like 10 minutes for this game? Yeah, I don't even see next play Evos testing this turtle heavily if they do. They have to know that it's going to open up a big swing for Blacklist if they oh. fail. They need to get Ooh. something else, but in the mid, it's an Arlot Arlot duo, but no, it's a Valentina <laughs> up against that Arlot and winning against Ding. Mid tower falls. Thankfully, Evos decides to open up the map instead and go up top. That's the best thing they can go for. Actually, did they even Blue get to break it? Yes, they do. Dominic needs to get out of here, though. Oh, no. This Four. is for next play. Seems very expensive to move. The reverse time onto Dominic DR. He's very low. He goes down. Owl gets the kill. Brusco gets away. Dean can't even respond. Now he's in trouble. There's a taunt. Vengeance in through using the orange buff. Reverse time on this Arlot. Ding, ding, ding. That's a knockout. Blacklist gets another. Overextension onto next play Evos. Melissa, if you want to have the investment onto your marksman, that's oh. one way to delay it if you're Blacklist. Yeah. Blacklist just got everything they wanted to get. They literally won all the lanes. They won the jungle after the first rotation. They were already invading after the first turtle, rather. It's a massive lead. Comparing the two marksmen, it's relatively close, but now it's a thousand gold lead for, for Owl here compared to to Doming, oh, no. and that doesn't sound a lot, but because of everything else that happened in this game so far, it's massive. Yeah, it's, with... it's not just about the money, right? Yeah. It's also the fact that Doming, his map is shrinking. Now down bottom, Boya trying to do some damage control, pushing away Edward. I think he's just trying to stop the inevitable. This turn's gonna go down. Yeah, they, again, once that glue was picked up, they didn't have an answer for it. They didn't ban it in the second phase. Next play Evos. Oh man. Uh, at this point, it's. They go for counter punch. Again, uh, what Next play Evos wanted to do for throughout the season but didn't get to be very effective with it. They cannot set the tempo anymore. They just have to play from a defensive position and hope that Blacklist slips. Yeah, we're talking about counter punch. If you're talking about counter punch for next play Evos, is the de is the defense items enough? I've only seen like two, like Corrosion Scythe and also Demon Hunter Sword. I, I, I didn't see it. Oh, as I said, but oh, oh, Boyet! Boyet! Caught between a rock and a hard place. Four members of Blacklist cornering him. Yeah, and oh. this is going to be the trade. Next play Evos, no, they just gave up, gave up Lord. They're going to want to push as much as they can in the bottom lane for Domingue, but they can only get a turret. Blacklist caught Boyet sleeping up top. And this is the problem now of next play Evos. How do the Neon Tigers respond if they don't have the proper defense? Mostly on the offense. In terms of damage, all my Venus is leading in the stats in the ranks, followed by Yue for this game. Talked about how the holy healing might actually help, but that might be one thing that next play Evos walked into a losing position going into game one, right? Uh, they were relying on the holy healing to undo the damage, but at this point, oh my Venus has just hit critical mass. You saw uh, she was the lead in damage de dealt in this 10 minute game. And slowly but surely, yeah, they're buying parts of the map back. But a map wherein a Fanny can't swing around freely is not a map that Fanny wants to be in. 
Yeah. And no wind of nature yet though uh, for Al. So you see Boyd actually trying to make a play wherein maybe he might be able to catch Al off guard. But Al, uh, knowing that there is a threat of fans giving him space, that's what he was asked to defend here. Just hold. It's going to be up to... You're just going to be see Boyd flying around the opposite lane of where Blacklist is and just trying to open up the map that way. Uh, but for how long I believe Evas can continue to do that is the big question here because it's 8,000 at this point, no kills yet for Nestle Evos. Okay, well their best defense would be the great offense for this situation because with the lead we are saying almost 8.5k but... Oh, top tower. It's a high ground defense. Blacklist made the most of that Lord, putting that inhibitor at about Stop a fifth it. of its health. In comes Yue, and there's a better dare strike. All hell is broken loose. Down goes Ding, Owl gets the kill, and just like that, Blacklist threatening a 10k gold lead. All the while, boy, it working hard down bottom. I won't be able to get a tower with that. He opened it up just a little bit, but we, <laughs> it's very clear. One thing leading to another, one decision in the draft, another decision after the first turtle, and now it's 9,000. Oh. The damage, the pokes, too much. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, boy, you're getting something there. That's something. Can they convert it, though? And that was his first kill for this game, and also... This is the part where is the damage or the defense items enough? We have a steel shield and also steel leg plates to counter Blacklist now's lead. Oh, two traps! Here comes Ding with a final slash and a vengeance Whoa. coming! Pops you in! Now Edward's in trouble! Here comes the split split! Oh, next play. Try keeping him in place and down underground. Next play clapping back suddenly, shrinking that goalie down to 7k. That's what you do, you don't hesitate. I like the bravery to do that. Oh, oh, Blacklist. In goes Ding, we're not done. There's a stun, but he still goes down. Now, boy, it gets punished. 2k for Owl, and just as quickly, next Levos gets punished. And Blacklist oh, has the Lord to take. I really thought next Levos, you were the, were the members of Blacklist would be generally, because Based on the last information they saw, the, the traces they had in the bottom lane, the win that they got there, it's very clear to think that Next Play Evos were thinking, okay, they're probably the purple side of their jungle, but still, Next Play Evos were the ones caught off guard. It's like after getting those kills, they got a little bit too excited. It's like, oh man, maybe you can position in the in the Lord, but no, Black was immediately just taking away what could have been the line of hope for Next Play Evos and getting the Lord freely. Well, speaking of getting it free, looking, looking at the items now of Next Play Evos, how will they freely get a kill onto Owl? The damage deal with a 5 0 0 for this one, and also rocking everything with all of the items he has right now. Yeah, he already has a win in nature, so boy, it needs to really time his entry. Somehow, Next Play Evos needs to see and force the wind of nature use out, and then boy, it goes in, but do they even have that? Because here comes the Lord, and here comes Blacklist. Luminous Lord. Waiting to clear these waves. There goes another airstrike. Stolen away by Yue. Next play Evos just paralleling away. Lighting up this Lord. Not going to be able to touch their base. But there's another fat wave coming in through mid. And they have to budget their ults. Here comes Boyet. They're able to clear it out. Still breathing. Next play Evos keeps their mid inhibitor. Bait just how the Luminous Lord tried to take in for the damage of the base. Almost half HP. For everybody next place defending and just by the pokes of Oh My Venus who explains that he's on top of the total damage right now. Oh, this Diggy. Now oh. even with the Divine Glaive. Got that DG! They got the DG. Ah. So he's been hurting even before the DG. He Ow. just picked it up. Right now it's pretty, I, I think it, most of the damage of that thing was just coming from the stacks alone of, uh, of the thingy that you get when you land, the, land those alarm bombs on the heroes. And also he ha she has the, uh, the also, next of Durance as well. So, how yeah. a better way to repeat the defense now of next by Evos? Oh no, boy! Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna get sandwiched again in between the members of Blacklist oh. and the turret. Got one HP and turret. He's gonna get home safely. Oh! He saw that glue huffing and puffing, but not gonna be able to get there in time. Boy, it. How did he survive that? Is my biggest question. I really thought that basic attack would have done the job. But no boy lives to fight another day. If that was a pick off there by Blacklist, it would have been devastating. But still, next play Evos, it's dire straits. How are they going to pierce through even the damage initially that they'll receive from a diggy? Just trying to get to the contention point of objectives. 
they won't be able to. It's a difficult position. They'll just have to wait and defend again around the next Lord. Yeah, position and angles is how next players could translate. There are also the hiccups from early games. If they are in a position like how will they hold one on ground, probably isolate someone from Black Ass International. But at some points, they've taken over the map mostly three-fourths of the way that the heat map is going crazy on where they headed. Oh. But boy, they has something here. All yeah. right. Okay. So, those close calls have been paying off. He's been feeding that wave up top, and he pushed that tier two. Black Ass International working hard on this 15-minute Lord. Still not quite evolved just yet. So next he was still has chances of defending this. But yeah. That's all she wrote. Uh, there's not much Next Me What Else can do here. Yeah, at least Next Me What has some time. Oh! And the Melissa Boyet! No, can he? Can he? Does no! he? Does he? Does he? Does he? Gets away! Boyet pops on my Venus and gets away with it! Boyet, if somehow Next Play Evils can turn this game around even more, the two times Blacklist couldn't take down Boyet and Boyet surviving is the turning point. I knew it. You have the rose gold meter on your hands, boy. And that shield as well. There's got to be some gold. mental and emotional damage on that engagement. I got away with it. I got away with it. But, and inside of all, maybe just how was I not? But is the damage not enough with all these three core items in for a diggy? A lot of questions running in the mind of Blackest right now. The RMG, bro. It's the RMG. <laughs> No, RGM. RGM, RGM, RGM yeah. yeah. Acronyms are hard. Yeah, they are. The circular fortitude on Boyet's pants to pull off that play. Let's see, though, if NXB has enough fortitude to hold on here and defend. 20k on this Lord. The toughest Lord that next believe was have had to defend in this 17-minute game. Boyet cutting that wave in mid, making this defense all the more possible. Plausible. Nay. Successful for oh, next for Evos. Pop in the better air strike. Doming throwing out these needles like there's no tomorrow. Wait. In comes Boy and he still survives the oh. first time. The punish from Yue. Down goes next for Evos' jungler. But still, next for Evos breathing. No inhibitors fall. Just in time with a reverse time there. Boy trying to be cheeky. I think he was trying to go after Al or Oh My Venus. Whoever was closer, he got caught in that RT. And now, Nestle Eve was really very dependent on Goyo and Domeng to just clear the minion waves as fast as they can and manage it. And maybe hence why Boyet's uh, excursions outside of the base to just push out lanes. It's one of the reasons why Blacklist can't end it just yet. Excursions. Boyet's yeah, yes. mighty adventures. Yeah, Boyet's mighty adventures of just clearing minion waves. Saturday night. Saturday morning cartoons. Yes. Indiana and Boyet Jones. Yeah, Indiana Boyet Jones. And it's going well for Next Play Evil. So sure. That little decision to do that, uh, as risky as it is, it's helping Next Play Evil stay in this game. How will they defend though? Black International is so taking time bomb on damage, but oh, look at that. Damage on the Yubi, almost half HP. Alright. Going here, early pop on the better damage strike. Well timed though, as the wave came crashing in. So Next Play was able to keep their inhibitors once more. Okay, with this in mind, we were talking about on the draft that Blacklist could rely on two possible people here. Oh! Just, oh. You were saying? Oh, I was just... <laughs> I just got cut off there. I was. Just, I thought something about happen, but to go back on my thought, Blacklist on the draft. They had the chance, or they have this composition to rely on two players to have damage. Is this the window of next play Evos to go and defy that situation right now? They can. It's still a 9,000 gold lead for Blacklist. They are out damaged, out gun, out defended. Oh! Oh! Alright, so that's one part of the mission complete. Take Oh My Venus out of the equation. Lord here just a little bit above half health. An engagement waiting to happen. It's brewing here. But it's going to be, what, 30 seconds for Oh My Venus able to join the fight. He's just there. Can get there. At least at this point, he can provide the vision, so Blackness still knows. Seems like there's a Boyet Goyong connection going on here. The tag team? Whoever Boyet finds Goyong just tries to feather an airstrike, and he has it up again. Ultimate's all up across the board for both teams. Al not yet, though. He just got it. Athena Shield pick up there for Edward. Key items getting shown. Abilities as well. Who is going to pull the trigger first? Blackness smartly decides to reset the Lord. The worst and MXPE L. obliges. Uh, they understand that this dance is not going to be beneficial for them either way. But that's just the situation NXP is in right now. They've yeah. been losing for a majority of the early, mid, and late. But now, going into the ultra-late game, 
might have a chance. Well, it's all about seeing like better late than never for next play Evo. So when all of the positioning is at hand and how Wise is ringing the bell, they need to be cautious on where to step on those auto alarm ups. It, it, it triggers Bruce with the dust region and region everybody until he's depleted. All right, how about we go again? Better air strike for first time already spent in. And there goes Ding dancing on through. Boy, attempting one more. But oh my Venus, an RT. It's Wise and B trying to squell. Oh, yeah. oh. Boy, it's adventures. Oh. Wise takes him down. There's only one king of the jungle in this metagame. And it's Wise. Blacklist now makes a beeline for the Lord. Luminous Lord. The king protects his queen from Boyet. A little bit too eager to secure that kill onto Oh My Venus. Boyet, he tried, but there was Wise. And the rest of Next Play Eve was again because of the lead Blackness has here. Them not even uh, being completely fully built yet across the board. They couldn't continue and help Boyet push out. The rest of Blacklist, ah. oh, and oh. there's a jump in, and the punish. Blacklist coming in, breaking that inhibitor, taking down Doming, taking down Goyom, Brusco falls as well. It's all crashing down for the house of the Neon Tigers. Blacklist International wipes them out. Boyet comes in just in time. They're just waiting for the wave. They're just waiting for the evolved Lord. One man defense on Boyet DR. Can he hold his goal? Impossible! No he way! He jumps into five! And here comes Blacklist taking game one. A surprise first pick, Diggy, coming in big time. They stuck to their guns, they stuck to their comforts. No need to change anything too drastically. Maybe just change the order a little bit. Show up our fundamentals in game, dominate. Blacklist. Game one. It was a ticking time bomb for next play Evos to even.